A fond welcome to anyone who has stumbled their way onto this channel. Today on our State of the Escritoire, we have a new arrival, new pens and new inks to review from a channel sponsor, Dave, AKA Hellcat from Discord. Let's take a look and see what we've got today. This is the Excalibur 2. It is a Coca-Cola wood handles and titanium anodized blue frame and clip there. And uh, Damascus, it's in-house Damascus. Definitely not as nice as Dama Steel, but it is still Damascus, which I do like. Anyway, that's what we're using to cut this open. Uh, if you guys were anything like me on today, today's the 22nd as of filming. So it was brutally hot today. It reached 90 where I am. So I went ahead and installed all of our home AC units. So that's going to be a big help. All right, let's see if we got it. All right, so Dave and I are going back and forth with a little bit of correspondence, so I'm not going to indulge in that, but this is the part that is relevant to our channel. The pens are a vintage Schaefer Snorkel in Extra Fine, a vintage Schaefer Balance Vac Fill, Otmog 36 Pilot Titanium Brass, Spogzi Chola Micarta. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Thank you so much, Dave. These will be very fun. Alrighty, first thing. Looks like a little bit of leakage. Was this the glass one? He was saying he was worried about chipping glass. Let's see where the leakage came from. This is as much of a science experiment as anything else, right? All right, so I just grabbed a paper towel. I'm just kind of soaking up what there is here. And then we'll try and figure out what's going on where. That's too bad. I guess this is the risk anytime you send a parcel through the mail. We got this though. Shouldn't have done that. Sometimes I wonder if I should even just wear gloves when I'm doing this because there's so much. All right, let's see what's going down. Oh, we'll see. Maybe it's just loose. I was surprised by the tin cap. Oh, no, lots on my hands. Let's use that. Oh. Oof. Inky, inky. Part of the hobby. Okay, so it looks like if I take the cap off, all of the tape is just going to come easy. So at this point, I just want to see if the glass is actually shattered or if the cap just became loose. I'm going to hold this up to the light. Actually, you know what? I'll do this with you. So it looks like the glass bottle is still intact. I've got to cap it to make sure there's no cracks in the bottom, but I think this was just a case of loose lid, which is our preferred scenario. And that's crazy too, because he really did tighten this with lots of duct tape. So it might just be that this vessel in general, and we'll look, it doesn't seem like there's an O-ring. Maybe that's just it. Maybe it was just some ink that came up and out there. Huh. wonder what this one is. I wonder what this ink is. I'm intrigued. All right, so I, I do think that's clean enough. I'm going to actually set that to the side. We'll get rid of all this and delve on in. All right, I'm moving on. Oh, cool bag, man. Sweet. It's like late 80s, early 90s Marvel. Thing, Wolverine, Thor, Spider-Girl. All By the way, my kids um, are starting to be at the age where the new Spider-Man cartoons are coming into play. And um, the dude from Panic! at the Disco 
did the song for the new Spider-Man cartoon. So that is epic. I can rock along to that. And uh, that's a cool thing. Wow, look at all this ink. Looks like we got a little bit of leakage from something. Maybe not. So this one is Van Diemen's Shooting Star. This one is Diamine Desert Rose. See what these two are. Oh, looks like that's the one that might have been leaking. And this one is Mont Blanc Irish Green. This is actually one of his favorite greens that I see him use on Discord. So that's a that's a cool one. I'm excited to use that. I really like greens. I'm kind of in the rabbit hole of trying to find a green because blues are everywhere. And green is a little bit more lively, a little bit more, a little bit more unique. Okay, that's going to be cool. Even though it leaks a little bit, that's much appreciated. And diamine Neptune blue. All right. Anytime it has a C or a, uh, a astronomical tie-in um i'm in i love space i love the sea so neptune blue i'll go ahead and uncap all these while i'm at it just to make sure that way if they are loose i can tighten them up so they have a good air seal for when i can get to them all right what else we got we have a easy flow 9000 a fine in like a teal. Thank you. I actually do really like the Easy Flow 9000s. They do flow very well, even though they're not necessarily a uh, fan favorite in the uh, enthusiast community. And, oh, there we go. We got a cartridge of Sailor Cone Pecky. That's going to be awesome. Thank you very much, Dave. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, more ink? Wow. This is wicked nice, man. This is very nice, thank you. Urban Pearl Noir. And we talked about black inks. I said I didn't really have any, so he sent me the uh, J. Urban Pearl Noir. And I've read and heard good things about this. This is, from what I've read of black inks, one of the top two or three recommendations. So that's gonna be fun, and I haven't got to it yet, but I can eventually compare that to Wearing Gold Hades, which is black with a blue shimmer. So I've got two blacks up and coming. Stay tuned. Let's see what else we've got. All the good stuff, right? All the pens. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a cool micarta one. Micarta is uh, the material that it's made out of. It might be a pull. Oh, there it goes. Twist. With a zoom nib too. I'm gonna have to um, look into that, and that'll be interesting. That was a very intriguing, intriguing nib. This is cool. First impressions of the micarta. It's intriguing. Uh, in a world of resin, I can see micarta being an option. A little bit tougher to kind of thread in. Let's see. Let's give you a home for now until we get you in the case. Let's see our next one. Oh, that's pretty. This must be one of the Schaefer's. Looks like we got a little bit of inkage and that could happen if it's inked up and it goes through um, air posted because of the pressure changes so we'll go ahead and take care of that looks like it's inked up in a nice green that's the snorkel look at it yeah there it is that's a little snorkel that's the first time I've seen use the snorkel in real life look at that nib and encompasses the entire feed because of the snorkel that's gonna be unique it's gonna be very cool 
All right, at this point, I'm kind of cleaning as I go. So I know I had some ink there. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of any ink in here that might have sporadically gotten about. Mm, there's enough to note. I don't know much about uh, Schaefer history, honestly, so I'm going to be happy to look into that for you guys so I can give you a, a brief history when I do these pens. That's one of the things I really love about this channel is when I can, I try and get you guys more information and then that results in me learning more about the same thing. So I really enjoy our deep dives and informational expertise as it were. All right, so I think that's all set. Let's give it a, a write. This is actually, it looks like craft paper. So yeah, we're working, we're flowing well. Very nice flow. Maybe it's the paper, I don't know. Oh yeah. And we'll cap this bad boy up. Excited for that one. Next up, let's see what we got. Oh wow, that's really pretty. The cap is a beautiful shimmery orange and the body is kind of a, it's more of a subdued gentle purple color, but then the shimmer in it is also orange to kind of correspond with the cap. It's a neat, it's a very cool pen. Oh, oh, we had a, a drip escape. Again, this can happen anytime something goes through the air with the pressure changes. Let's get something to clean that. One of the great things about almost all fountain pen ink is it is water-based, so it's like using Crayolas with your kids. If you mess up and it spills, it's actually pretty easy to get off. I wonder which one this is. I actually don't know which one this is, so that's gonna be interesting to kind of play with. Huh. It's a very unique color. Like I wouldn't think it would go together except for the shimmer on the body part kind of corresponds with the cap and it kind of ties it all together. Very unique. All right, let's go to our next pen. A little burlap sack or so. Oh, this must be the Otmog. Yes. Oh, nice. All right, so I came to the fountain pen world from the machine world. Um, so the machine world is where I evolved my sense of penmanship, I'll say. And once I pass tactile turn and then you get up into billet spin and Nottingham's other ones, um, you know, you, you go up in value. And when you have those pens, I didn't necessarily, in my case, want to go back and pick up a pen that was still in that kind of entry to mid-level tier because I already had too many pens that were above that anyway. But I was really excited because this is a new brand, Otmog, and they're supposedly just, I hear a lot about them and it's all good. So I was very excited to try that because it wasn't something I was going to go back and spend a hundred bucks on a pen I didn't necessarily need because my collection's already so large. But I was really intrigued and I'm so happy to have this for trial and to see how it is. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a test. Nice firm deployment. Oh, it's almost like a little ball detent. That's cool. That's very cool. Most all pens of a side click variety like this would have um, its own milled out piece of, you know, shaped metal there. So I really like the ball detent thing. That's cool. It's much more subtle and you can still access it very well. I'm, I'm going to use that a lot. Thank you very much, Hellcat. Oh, look at that, brand new. Went to write with it and it's brand new. Nice. I might spell this wrong. I hope I don't. Automog. It's something where I want to say automog, but it's not auto, it's like ot, so automog. This is cool. feels like titanium from the weight and the kind of shimmer of it, but it looks like it's got a brass mechanism up here. Nice. Thank you, Dave. What have we got? One, two, three, four pens. All right, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. And we suddenly have way more to do for you. 
way more to report on. Thank you so much for supporting our channel, Dave, aka Hellcat, on Discord. I really look forward to sending you a return care package after I review all these awesome pens. And just thank you for being around and being an awesome supporter and being an awesome enjoyer of pens in general. I also enjoy your writing that I also see posted. You do a lot of handwriting samples on some of the discords that I'm involved in. So I appreciate fellows like you that kind of live in the art and you work with it each day and it improves both your mind and your aesthetics of your writing too. So. Thank you again, Dave. I hope to get back to you soon. And if you are a fan of this channel, thank you for following along. And I'm really happy to have some new awesome content to bring you. Some new reviews of both ink and pens.